Hi, this is Jeff Hall again, and I'm going to do a album review for a compilation that just came out not too long ago, and it's for Bone Orchard from Jungle Records, and it's called Stuff to the Gills and Other Fishy Tales. So that's what it looks like. Bone Orchard. It's got 17, yeah, 17 songs. Um, and it's got a DVD. It includes The Mission, Cold Black Stick, Lynch Jack, Fast Terminal, Princess Epilepsy, and Touched. So those are the music videos for that. And it's also got a live concert on that DVD. Live at Amsterdam. And it includes Jack Live, Tongue Live, Top Dog Live, by the way, those last two tracks aren't on the compilation, so it's cool to see some music live that ain't on the compilation. Marianne live, same old ball and chain, Big Boss Ma'am, which isn't on the compilation, as far as the CD part of it goes, and Princess Epilepsy. And it also has... Uh, that's it, I guess, but that's still pretty good. It's a reasonably priced compilation. And, uh, let's get to what Bone Orchard was. Bone Orchard, I guess you can consider them almost the female-fronted equivalent of the Birthday Party. If you haven't heard the Birthday Party, it's Nick Cave's first band. At least that I know of. And they were kind of like a rockabilly, psychobilly, insane, jazzy dark chaotic mess and well that's kind of like what this group is except with a female on the vocals um tracks i like are shall i carry the budgie woman um kicking up the sawdust they're really insane and chaotic as far as like extremely dark gothic music is concerned i like the rockabilly tinge tracks of like let's see i don't really remember the names of these songs Fats Terminal, that's a really good rock psychobilly type of one. Um, I'm Boned, it's a really good psychobilly type of one. And there's also some really jazzy stuff on here like Jack, which is probably close to being my favorite track. And uh, Marianne, which is pretty jazzy. Five Days in the Neighborhood, which sounds like it could be on the parent soundtrack for that horror movie because it sounds like a 50s big band jazz kind of song. I don't know. It's really weird. But one thing I like about this collection is it really showcases how diverse the band was. Another thing I like is it includes a lot of rare stuff. And particularly, I really must mention that it has this song called The Mission on the DVD for a promo video. The Mission was never ever released on anything. So anybody that's a Bone Orchard fan has a chance to hear a song they've never ever heard before and I waited like a long time for this to be released because a lot of their stuff is out of print and now that we have at least something released by them that's not Shall I Carry the Budgie Woman or Kicking Up the Sawdust on a Gothic Rock compilation I can say I'm pretty satisfied with this collection even if I was a minimal fan, which is I would consider myself a big fan of them personally, but if I was a minimal fan I'd be happy with it because it's got pretty much every single track you'd want practically, unless you want to own all the albums like I do. And it's really good. If you like Nick Cave and the Birthday Party, you'd probably like this band. As far as the vocals and sound, there's a lot of Susie and the Banshees, Skeletal Family, hints in there. It's really chaotic. It's really different. It's really good. Uh, it's got Scarecrow hints in there. It's got a lot of different sounds to it. And the female's singer's voice, Christy McPhee, it's very diverse. It can go from jazz one minute to goth one minute to almost heavy metal one minute to just plain insanity. It's really interesting. And if it weren't for Sex Gang Children, this group would probably be my favorite goth group of all time. 
because of the diversity for one thing and the brilliantness of the musicianship. That's something that's really understated with this group. It's how they can play these chaotic drum and guitar beats that beautifully complement Christine McVie's voice. And it's almost like if you took abstract art and listened to it, really dark abstract art and listened to it on a CD, it's really incredible music. It's really diverse. You won't get bored of this compilation because it just changes genres practically constantly. And it's really good for the money. I mean, you get a lot for what you pay. And until they start re-releasing all their studio albums, this is really a great compilation to hold somebody over. And if I were to give it a rating, I'd say 10 out of 10 stars, 5 out of 5 stars. It's a perfect compilation. I don't think I could have made a better compilation myself out of this group. So you got to give props to Jungle Record. This is one of the best underrated 80s gothic outfits there ever was. And um, so I recommend anybody buying this album if they like gothic music that's really scary and strong and interesting. And like I said before, I recommend it for birthday party fans, Baton Damone fans, Skeletal Family fans, early Susie and the Banshees fans, to more of a hyena type of stuff. I recommend it to anybody that likes really good gothic music and wants to hear something that's not Alien Sex Fiend or Christian Death or Sisters of Mercy or The Cure or The Smiths or Joy Division, stuff that's more known. If you want to hear a more unknown group that's just as talented or better than those bands, I strongly recommend Bone Orchard. And that was the review for let's see, Bone Orchard, Death to the Guild, and Other Fishy Tales on Jungle Records. I'm Jeff signing out. And when I get time, hopefully I'll be able to get some more reviews in. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps somebody decide whether or not they want to buy the compilation.